Navig, the navigation with Indian constellation is the Indian regional navigation satellite system aimed at providing reliable navigation services. The system has been developed for providing accurate information on the position, velocity and time to the users. It will provide position accuracy better than 20 meters over India. and in the surrounding region extending to about 1500 kilometers. With Navic in place, our dependence on the foreign navigation systems will be significantly reduced. India has joined an elite club of very few nations who have their own satellite-based navigation system. Navic is constellation of seven satellites positioned in the orbits of nearly 36,000 kilometers altitude above the Earth. All satellites in the constellation are of similar specifications. These satellites are located in two types of orbits, namely geostationary Earth orbit and the inclined geosynchronous orbit, thus creating a symphony in space. The first satellite of the series, IRNSS-1A, was launched in July 2013 and the seventh satellite, IRNSS-1G in April 2016. IRNSS-1H replaces IRNSS-1A which has developed anomalies in its onboard atomic clocks. While IRNSS-1H joins the constellation for providing navigation services, IRNSS-1A will now be used for messaging services. This satellite weighs around 1425 kilograms. Like its predecessors, it has two types of payloads, navigation payload and ranging payload. The navigation payload operating in the S and L5 bands is meant for transmitting navigation signals to the users. The ranging payload comprises a CDMA ranging transponder and operates in the C band. IRNSS-1H comes with more flexibility in service and is also compatible with the other satellites in the orbit. The IRNSS satellites continuously emit time-stamped navigation signals, which are received by the ground-based IRNSS receivers. The information is then processed by the receivers to derive their own position, velocity and time. For accurate time-stamping, IRNSS satellites carry rubidium atomic clocks that are far more accurate than normal electronic clocks. The system provides seamless 24 by 7 services under all weather conditions. The Novik has immense use for fishermen going to sea. It helps them to reach the high yielding locations, alerts them about bad weather and international water boundaries. Apart from fishermen, Navik also helps the merchant ships to navigate to their destination in the ocean routes, aids them to search and rescue in disastrous situations. Navik supports numerous applications in the road and railway services. It helps in navigation from point A to point B, tracking of passenger vehicles like trains, buses, taxis, tracking of school vans and traffic management. The position information derived from Nave helps the entrepreneurs and government agencies to manage the resources efficiently using geotagging and geofencing techniques. Linking position information from Navic with geoinformatic systems, a host of location-based services are offered to general public, be it locating a restaurant, shop, office, fuel pump, picnic spot, etc. Using multi-constellation, multi-channel and differential navigation signals, the Navic provides more accurate position information which helps in applications like surveying, port operations, precision agriculture, road and railway alignments, etc. Navic is also useful in efficient telecom operations, power grid operations, disaster management, atmospheric studies, etc. 
Thus, Navik plays an important role in every aspect of our life. The satellite has been realized with the team effort of ISRO. Space Application Center, Ahmedabad, was responsible for realizing the payloads. All sensor elements were delivered by LEOs, while IISU provided inertial elements. LPSC delivered propellant and propulsion system components. Vikram Sarabhai Space Center, located at Thiruvananthapuram, supplied all the composite elements like antenna, yokes and substrates for solar panels and pyros. The ISRO Satellite Center, ISAC, at Bengaluru was responsible for the bus systems. The satellite assembly, integration and the environmental tests were carried out at ISAC. The ISRO Navigation Center, located at Bayalalu, is the heart of the ground segment of the NAVIC. The Navigation Control Center at ISTRAC, Bengaluru and the Satellite Control Facility at MCF, Hassan, play an important role in continuous monitoring and control of space segment. NAVIC ground segment is operational 24 by 7. It has a number of Indian range and integrity monitoring stations. Also called I rims, which are geographically spread across the country. The ground segment also has IRNSS CDMA ranging stations, IRNSS network timing centers, ISRO navigation centers, and spacecraft control facilities with sufficient redundancies. All of these are interconnected through a robust data communication network. Coming back to IRNSS 1H, after many stringent tests, the satellite is now integrated with the satellite launch vehicle PSLV C-39 at Indian Spaceport SDSC Shar. After launch, it will be placed in a geosynchronous orbit with 29 degree inclination at 55 degree east longitude. IRNSS 1H has a mission life of around 10 years. The indigenous Nave provides independent and reliable navigation and timing services in and around our country, making us self-reliant in the field of satellite-based navigation.